but my name is Vinny and welcome back to Minecraft Gadgets. So in this video, I have decided to make an iconic build to the Minecraft series and that is a TNT launcher. Yes, we're going to be making a TNT launcher. You are going to need a dispenser, a redstone torch, a slab of your choice, a fence of your choice, a pressure plate, a button of, of your choice, redstone dust, a spawn egg of your choice, water, and four stacks of TNT. So the first step of building a TNT launcher is your base. What is the base going to look like? That's simple. The base is going to look something like this. So first of all, you're going to put a dispenser here, here, and here. The fourth one is actually going to be placed on top of here, on top of the others. So just like this, this is a good start to your base. So now, before we do anything, we're going to put our TNT inside of all of these. Now that that's done, let's move on to the actual technician parts. So first of all, what you're going to do is grab the button and place it on the back of the back dispenser. Then what you're going to do is take your redstone torch and put it on top of the back dispenser also. Now, grab your redstone. What? Uh, I'll be right back. I think this is, all right. That's a good example of proceed with caution, okay? I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, it just exploded out of nowhere. But let's continue. Okay, so we're back where we started, but I'm going to put the TNT in last, just to be safe. So now what you're going to do is grab your fence, dig a hole in front of it, put, place it there, and put the pressure plate over it. And then what, what you're going to do is grab your water and place it in there. The water is actually an important part of the, of the launcher. You'll see why. So now, what you're gonna do is grab your redstone and put it on top of each dispenser while crouching, as I may add. <sighs> All right, let's do this. We're gonna finally place our TNT in the dispenser. Hopefully I don't trigger it this time. So now, everything should be good. The pressure plate is going to be used as the firing system. We're gonna need some test subjects. Now let's see if the TNT launcher actually works. All right, the moment of truth. Does this actually work? Let's see. Oh. Oh. Oh! That's so cool. Hold on. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Ready, aim, fire. Ooh. Ready, aim, fire. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and that's so cool, it actually works! Let's go! What are you staring at? One more time. Go. Oh. Ooh! It's so cool! It actually works! That's awesome! That was like the short range. I'm gonna try to do it the long range now. So what you're gonna need is a stone slab, or whatever slab you want and then replace the pressure plate with the slab. And I think that should give it um, 
the long range version? Let's see. Three, two, one, go. Let's see. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, well, at least it still works, I guess. Okay, well, at least I know it works, guys. I I need to go clean all this up for next week's episode. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, I sure as heck enjoyed it. Hold on, we need to find a better spot for this. There we go, subscribe. So yeah, that, that's, that's it for today's episode of Minecraft Gadgets. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments on what else do you want me to build or what other build or, get, or machine you, you, you want me to build. And uh, just, and just, uh, look, and just keep supporting this series, okay? Because I'd love to do more of this. Like, from that TNT launcher, that was a blast, literally, pun intended. But, yeah, let's, let, let, let's do some more. Why not? So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.